Yep, anti-obesity drug. If you guys are new to supplements like peptides, you're gonna hear a lot more about them in the next coming years because they're a much safer and better option than things like human growth hormone and other steroids that people take where you can get the same benefit with less risk. Today's peptide that we're gonna be going over is called AOD9604. Now all peptides really are, are a chain of amino acids that come together to form a molecule that does certain things in the body, right? You have human growth hormone, which is a chain of amino acids, and then you have things like the one we're gonna go over today, which is AOD9604, and it stands for Advanced Obesity Drug. Now there was a clinical study done on this particular peptide where they gave a placebo group a non-peptide and they gave the other group the peptide AOD9604 and the peptide group lost three times the amount of body fat as the placebo group. One of the things that this kind of competes with or one of the peptides that it competes with is called HGH frag which is another segment of amino acids uh, or a chain of amino acids that are derived from human growth hormone and this HGH frag is now seen as an inferior product because AOD doesn't affect your insulin and doesn't produce any IGF-1. And so if this is all kind of over your head, just know that AOD is seeming like a safer option at this point. Now, who uses this kind of stuff? Well, primarily professional sports athletes and other professionals like bodybuilders and things like that. But in the years to come, you're gonna see a lot more peptides being prescribed to everyday people like me and you to reduce body fat, improve cognition, and a host of other things. And if you're asking yourself, where can you get this stuff? Well, you can get it online at some of these peptide places. How many hits does he have on this? AOD is a fraction of growth hormone. So you have the, the whole growth hormone, you know, peptide complex, protein complex. Yeah. And you're going to cut a piece of it off. And that's the part that they're going to be using. And they believed it would work for weight loss. It was researched. Uh, I forgot the pharmaceutical company that, that took it out there and worked with it. Um, yeah. It's never worked clinically. And, and I, and I know this cause I've seen it not work, uh, personally, clinically. And I, I could say on this video, peptides are brilliant and they will be the future in medicine in so many ways because it's, it's taking what your body does. Uh, uh, Ozempic, peptide, truth. Wagovi, peptide. Manjoro, peptide. All those are naturally occurring compounds your body understands and works with. They're not synthetic chemicals. They're not synthetic hormones. They're not synthetic. These are biologicals that your body understands. So AOD, why is it a problem? Why is it good? Why is it bad? It doesn't work. And, and as I mentioned in a previous video, you can't overinflate the benefit of a treatment without consequence. If I'm telling patients that AOD is going to cause their weight loss and they're going to go to my office, they're going to buy 30 syringes of this stuff, they're going to go home, they're going to inject it, and they didn't lose any weight, that doesn't reflect well on me as a physician at all, ever, not even once. So, one, I don't see it working. I've never seen it clinically work, and, and as you can see, it's going to be receding from the market because it's not as available as it once was. So, AOD is not a good one. Um, what about growth hormone? Let's let's take the, take the whole thing out. Let's talk about what's really important. Is growth hormone helpful for weight loss? There are so many people that swear by it, but you know what? Swear by it. Is this distracting? <laughs> growth hormone. Giving someone growth hormone, expecting them to lose weight from it, isn't really authentic either. Growth hormone is important for metabolism, yes, but you know how many kids are on the playground today that are obese that have plenty of growth hormone. If their growth hormone is causing them to lose weight, why do we have a childhood obesity epidemic? Is it because they have low growth hormone? No, because the children are growing to full height and full stature. They don't have growth hormone deficiencies. Growth hormone is not the magical ingredient for weight loss people once thought it was or suspected it was or promoted it to be. The people who say it's going to promote weight loss are the people selling it, right? Those are the ones who are trying to get their money on that one peptides are the future they're good aod it really does not help with weight loss at all and and that could be partly because growth hormone is not as good for weight loss as people suspect it is it could be also because it's just not enough of the molecule binding to the receptor i don't know but one study for that showing that there's weight loss that he cited i don't know that study i've never seen it and i could tell you I've researched this extensively. It's just never been fully proven. Yeah. Sorry, is there a reason why he said that bodybuilders would use it more? 
The reason why he's saying that, why bodybuilders are using it, let's say professional athletes, but professional athletes do not use these things. They're tested for them constantly. They're not good compounds. Why are they being talked about this much? Well, there are unregulated sites that are selling unregulated peptides for experimental use only on the internet. So you could buy these compounds online, unregulated, for experimental use that people end up buying and they give it to themselves anyway, even though it's not approved for human use. So you'll go online to these sites and you go through a shopping list of stuff that you could buy that sounds good. You read the little blurb on the website saying, oh yeah, this is gonna be great for weight loss or oh yeah, this is gonna be great for your growth hormone or oh yeah, this is gonna be this. They, they just follow it and they just do it because you know they follow a leader. I'm, as a physician, my reputation is important, not in the sense of like, I want people to think I'm great, but I want the reputation of people to trust me. Your trust means everything to me. And I can't practice medicine if I don't have your trust. And how can you trust me if I'm going to tell you that you're going to take this compound, it's going to do this, and I personally know it won't, or I don't have a lot of experience with it, or there's no real research behind it. I hope this helps. If there are videos that you found online that are confusing or are interesting, or if you've had a medical experience, you made a video like this, you want me to post, please uh, send it to my DM on Instagram. I will uh, look for it there. And uh, again, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll get to you next time. I don't know if, can, you, can you see my dogs attacking? They're going crazy down here. Will it be in this episode that all the dogs in here? Yeah, you can tell I'm a true parent because I can operate here and have mayhem happening here. And it really doesn't throw me off. This is now you know I'm a dad. This is the level of dad I am. <laughs> Just look at this guy. This is, this is my guy. Don't, don't. It's his moment. You can't take away every moment, puppy. All right, guys, come on. I gotta work. I gotta work. I know he's totally a Chewbacca dog.